Warren, you believe that consciousness, uh, mind is entirely physical. Uh, and therefore, it would seem to me that if it's entirely physical, it can be entirely represented on non-biological um, strata. Computers call it what you will. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think I do. If, if consciousness is some sort of platonic, mysterious, non-physical entity, of course it could not be. But if but I believe in embodied cognition, embodied consciousness. And so uh, I think biology is the richest substrate for embodying consciousness, but I don't rule out a priori that it might be embodied in something non-biological. But why do you say might? If, if it's entirely physical, what is it about it that doesn't make you 100% certain that it would be maybe not this year, next year, maybe not for a thousand years? But in principle, it will be because you just have to represent the same system. Yes, uh, unless there's something about biology that we don't know about yet that actually is fundamentally different as a substrate than, let's say, a, a uh, some other mechanical non-biological. But it would system. have to be represented in physical form, whatever difference that is. It's not a yeah, but a, the, but a biology vital... may be biology may be an unusual kind of physics physical form that it, it takes that kind of physical system to have consciousness that other kind of phys physical systems just because of the kind of physical systems they are cannot but i don't know that's an empirical question as far as i'm concerned what i think is necessary for consciousness for me is is um a self-representation self-reflection ability to run scenarios about the future that involve the self the, the ability to evaluate those uh, and on the basis of valuation to make choices, and maybe that can be... And all of those things are physical. They're yeah, all f that's physically yeah, represented all in, the, in, in the brain, our, our on a physical urgent world. properties of our brain. And if that is then physical, I see no reason why that couldn't be represented in other strata. Maybe not computers as we know it today, but some other kind of substrate. I, yeah, I see no reason now, but the, um, a reason might arise. Okay. It uh, may be that biology, as I say, is fundamentally different than other kinds of systems, uh, ne nevertheless physical. But then you need something in that biology that, that's other than physical, because if it's physical, you can represent no, no, it. You no. could have something physical biology in biology. Biology may be a particular kind of organization of the world that you just okay. can't can't replicate in a, in okay. a non-biological system. Okay, but but you said that most likely that if that that may not be true. Most people would say that that's yeah. not true. So, so if we then go to the next step, that if it is possible to represent consciousness, the mm -hmm. full feeling of consciousness in a non-biological system, would that system, and I ask you this both as a neuroscientist, now as a believer, would that system that had represented that consciousness in a non-biological way have the opportunity to have a relationship with God? I often answer this most more with respect to personhood than relationship with God, and I answer it this way. For a, biolog for a robot to become a person, human society would have to decide a priori that they were going to admit the robot as a person, because it's only in the context of a long history of interpersonal relationships that the thing could organize in a way such as to become a person. So it could only become a person by deciding ahead of time that this is a person. Okay. And so I can accept that. Yeah. And, yeah, but and that's so that just... to develop that kind of relationality. Um, but and then in terms of the theological question, I think that's a question left to God, whether God will accept a non biological consciousness. I don't know.